Hello Truth Seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Alrighty now folks, grab your popcorn and settle in folks because your favorite neighborhood royal watcher is back with some piping hot tea that's about to make waves in the royal pond. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't already subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, let me tell you, when I first caught wind of this little royal shakeup, I nearly spat on my Earl Grey. Our dear Princess Anne, the original royal workhorse, is apparently being given a run for her money by none other than Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh. Talk about a plot twist. Now before we dive into this royal drama, let's take a moment to appreciate the absolute machine that is Princess Anne. This woman has been carrying the royal family on her back for decades, showing up to more engagements than you can shake a scepter at. She's been the undisputed queen of ribbon cutting, plaque unveiling, and charity supporting for as long as I can remember. Heck, she even bounced back from a suspected horse kick to the head. If that's not dedication, I don't know what is. But hold on to your tiaras because there's a new contender in town. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, has apparently been burning the royal candles at both ends, more than doubling her engagements compared to last year. We're talking 38 engagements this month alone. That's more appearances than Meghan Markle has made excuses for ditching her royal duties. Now I can just imagine Princess Anne's face when she heard about this. Picture it. She's probably sitting in her countryside estate, sipping tea and planning her next charity visit when suddenly her royal radar starts pinging. What's this? She might have thought. Someone's trying to outwork me? Don't they know who I am? But here's the kicker. It's not just about the numbers. Sophie's been dubbed the firm's secret weapon, and let me tell you, that's not a title they hand out with the afternoon scones. This woman has been filling the gaps left by the absence of some pretty big royal players. We're talking King Charles and Princess Kate, both out of action due to health issues. It's like Sophie looked at the royal calendar, saw all those empty slots, and said, hold my tiara, I've got this. And boy, has she got it. From visiting community centers to animal sanctuaries, from supporting disability charities to opening wineries, a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Sophie's been everywhere. She's even venturing into territory that would make most royals think twice. This woman's passport must be getting Kuwait the workout. But let's not forget our Anne. Despite taking a bit of a backseat this month, only 13 engagements, amateur hour for her. She's still out there representing the king at some pretty heavy-duty events, commemorating the 80th anniversary of the Battle of Arnhem. That's not just cutting ribbons, folks. That's keeping the weight of history on your shoulders. Now, I can't help but wonder, is there a bit of royal rivalry brewing here? Is Anne looking over her shoulder, wondering if her hard-earned title of hardest-working royal is slipping away? And what about Sophie? Is she gunning for that top spot, or is she just happy to help out where she can? Personally, I think we're witnessing a changing of the guard. Anne's been carrying this torch for so long, it's about time someone stepped up to share the load. And let's face it, with Charles and Kate out of action, and Harry and Meghan off in California probably planning their next attention-seeking stunt, the royal family needs all hands on deck. But here's what really gets me. The sheer contrast between Sophie's work ethic and that of certain other royals who shall remain nameless. <coughs> Harry and Meghan. <coughs> While some are busy complaining about how hard a royal life is and throwing tantrums on international television, Sophie's out there getting stuff done. No fuss, no drama, just good old-fashioned hard work. And let's not forget Sophie's background. This woman worked her way up in PR before joining the royal family. She ran her own agency for five years. That's not just marry a prince and call it a day stuff. That's real-world experience. No wonder she's so good at this royal gig. She actually understands what it means to work for a living. Now, I'm not saying Anne should be worried. Let's be real. 212 engagements in a year is still an impressive feat. But maybe it's time for her to pass the baton. After all, even royal workhorses need a break sometimes. But here's the thing that really tickles me. Imagine the conversations happening behind palace walls right now. Is Anne giving Sophie side eyes at family dinner? Is Edward beaming with pride at his wife's newfound royal superstar status? And what about Charles and Camilla? Are they sitting back, sipping their gin and tonics, thinking, thank goodness someone's picking up the slack? And let's not forget the real winners in all of this. The British public. While well, certain members of the royal family, I'm looking at you, Harry and Meghan, seem to think that being royal is all about Netflix deals and tell-all books, Sophie and Anne are out there day in and day out actually serving the people. They're not just wearing the crown, they're earning it. So what's next in this royal work-off? Will Sophie continue her meteoric rise through the ranks of royal engagements? Will Anne stage a comeback and reclaim her title? 
Or will we see a new dynamic duo emerge with these two powerhouse princesses tag-teaming the royal duties? One thing's for sure, this kind of royal drama I can get behind. No scandals, no family feuds, just good old-fashioned hard work and dedication. It's enough to bring a tear to this cynical royal watcher's eye. So here's to you, Sophie and Anne, the true queens of getting stuff done. While others might be chasing headlines, you're out there making a real difference, and in my book, that's worth more than all the royal titles in the world. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.